What's up, everybody? It's Anis here, and welcome to another episode. This week, we're in Bel Air, Los Angeles, and going to tour this incredible, newly constructed estate right behind me. This home features 12 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, approximately 36,000 square feet of interior space, built on a little over two acres of land with an asking price of $139 million. It is without a doubt, one of the most beautiful and opulent estates we have ever toured on this channel. So we got a really special episode ahead of us. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to give big thanks to the listing agents, Adam Rosenfeld and John Grauman for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now let's begin. The thing that I think makes this estate stand apart is the attention to detail. Number one, the first thing I need to mention is code is constantly changing in Los Angeles, and as a result, the amount of square footage that exists on this property is not reproducible. Number two, this house has the size and the function, but what it really has is attention to detail that you typically aren't gonna see, especially in a spec development style home. Uh, every inch of this house was painstakingly combed through. You'll notice there's not a single spot of drywall. Every light fixture that hangs in the house was done meticulously with laser point precision. And I mean that in all seriousness. Lasers were literally sitting on the ground, aimed up at the ceiling in order to make sure that everything was aligned perfectly. So I think it's that craftsmanship that we typically look for that don't often see that exists in space here. And that's what makes it so special. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Gate opens up to the driveway. We have stone floors with the pebble rock finish in between, more of the darker tones, water feature on the left. Property is nicely hedged from the street level. And on my right hand side, we have the one car garage and the two car garage. This garage door right here opens up to something extremely unique that we're gonna see later in the tour. And now let's talk about the exterior architecture of this amazing estate. More of the darker tones, stone clad throughout. I love this metal grid detail that they have on the second floor, giving some privacy. And we have the overhang details, walls of glass, gas lanterns, which looks super contemporary and chic. Coming here, we have the steps taking you down to the front door. Another water feature. This is your incredible spiral staircase, walls of glass. And as you come in here, you can see you have a glass pivot door, fingerprint scanner, and door opens up and welcomes you into the estate. I mean, look at the views here. It's just incredible. You have the city right in front of you, flows straight to your backyard. This property is amazing. This tour is gonna to be so much fun. I'm gonna start right here. We have these oversized stone floors, which look stunning. They have it throughout this level in various patterns. They are not marble, but they have marble in them and they just look incredible. We're gonna see them throughout. Coming here, we have the staircase going up to the second floor as well as the lower level. And these doors actually open up the coat closet. And this one right here is your elevator access. Mikey, can we get a close up on this door? Look at this. With the emblem of the house, sweet finish, handles, furniture in this house is incredible and we're gonna talk about that in a bit. Now coming here, we have the bar on our right hand side. Gorgeous stone fabrication, bar seating, custom furniture. And I love this open shelving design that they have on the back. Those are actually solid pieces of metal. So they each weigh about 200 to 250 pounds. They're bolted to the countertops. 
and it looks incredible. You have Makassar wood panels going all the way to the ceiling. We have double height ceilings here, 23 foot, and right across, we have the formal living room area. I mean, this room is just incredible. Custom furniture throughout. In fact, all the furniture in this house was specifically made for this house by a company called La Contesina. They have spent over three and a half million dollars just in the furniture alone. And it looks incredible with the stitching, belts, details. You have this gorgeous marble coffee table right in the center. And the focal point of this room is this 23 foot double-sided linear gas fireplace. And the entire assembly here is clad with 41 slabs of Nero Marquina marble. And more importantly, they have this really unique pattern, which you can see throughout the entire surface. It took them nine months to shave, carve, customize, and install this entire assembly. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. It's like this lattice-like pattern. Yep. I'm, I'm kind of, did they stack the stone and then carve it to look like this? I don't know the exact procedure, but these are all basically hand carved and polished. Yeah, it looks insane. It is incredible. And this linear fireplace is double-sided because right behind this wall, we have the family room that we're gonna check out in a bit. Now, coming back here, we have motorized Fleetwood doors pocketing into the walls, opening up this entire space to your backyard and your views. I mean, it is phenomenal. Again, you have the city in front of you, canyon views, and we're gonna cover this backyard in a bit. And on this episode, we're actually doing something a little bit different. We're touring this floor during the day, and we're gonna tour the remaining two floors at night. That way you guys can truly see this property both during the day and at night. Now coming here right next to a formal living room, we have the formal dining room area. It's another elegant, opulent room. We have a stone table with brass legs that sits 14 people, crystal chandelier above with cove lighting. Everything looks gorgeous. In fact, can we get a close up, Mikey? Look at the chair here. You have suede backs, velvet inside, brass legs with the stitching. I mean, it is truly custom. I mean, isn't this furniture incredible? Yeah, it's really nice. I feel like uh, we've toured, I guess it's weird to say, but we've toured homes all over around the world now. Uh, the only homes we've seen with truly custom furniture like this have been in France, like Palais, 140 million euro estate. Correct, uh, and speaking of France actually, the name of this estate, they call it Le Fond, which means the end in French, because once you own a property like this, this is the end. You cannot top this off. In fact, they have, the emblem of the house on the carpets, on the brass details throughout, which is just stunning. I mean, the attention to detail in this house is something else. Now, we have this opening taking us to the kitchen and the family room. I'm gonna start our tour here with the seating area, gorgeous furniture facing the TV. This is the other side of the linear fireplace. We have the same marble pattern also here. Just an elegant space that flows straight to your backyard. We have the sliding glass doors stacking on each side, opening up the corner to really expand your views. And I mean, look at this. Downtown Los Angeles right there, canyon views, mountains on the back, city of LA. Your backyard is around the corner. This is incredible. They have the same stone floors also here with the chevron pattern. And coming back in, right across from your seating area, we have the kitchen. It's built by Arc Linea, and I just love the rose gold finish that they have on the island here, as well as these open shelving designs, marble countertops, induction cooktop, second induction cooktop here. You have your bar seating. And turning back, we have the base cabinets or the wall cabinets with your microwave, oven, this is super cool, your coffee bar. Ooh. Right there. That's clean. Super clean. This kitchen, Mikey, without the appliances, cost $450,000. Insane. And Just, there's really nice appliances. I'm sure they cost a, a lot, lot too. Yeah. I mean, look at the doors here. Look at the rose gold built-in handles. It is so stunning, the fit and finish. It goes all the way to the ceiling. And coming back here, we have, let's see, dishwasher on this side. Something about this rose gold finish, we don't see this quite often. It just looks so sleek and so elegant. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, coming back here, we actually have a pocket door that tucks into the wall, opens up to your dining room area, so there's an easy access from your kitchen. And these are the famous Arc Linea glass doors that opens up to the side. I mean, the cabinetry is just so gorgeous. 
We have more base cabinets here with the built-in handles. I believe this is a small dishwasher. There you go, another sink, marble countertops with marble backsplash, more of these glass doors. This is your wine cellar. And turning this way, we have the extension of the island. Countertops here are infused oak, and you can have it high like this, or you can lower it down. Let's see. Oh, wow. And have it as like a dining setup. Isn't this incredible? That's really cool. Just gorgeous. The details in this house is just mind boggling. All right, coming here, we have an informal dining area right next to your kitchen. Gorgeous stone table right in the center with the built-in Lazy Susan. I mean, look at all these brass details with the banding, inlay, these chairs with the stitching and accessories. And Mikey, can we get a close up? Look underneath the table with the details and stitching. I mean, it's just incredible. You got a gorgeous chandelier above. I feel like I'm out of words. I'm kind of speechless. This house is just mind boggling. Yeah, everything is custom. How, uh, how long did it take you to study and prepare for this? So I had a chance to tour this property with the developer a few days ago, and uh, he gave me the shorter tour, shorter version of the tour, and that was around two and a half hours. So that should give you some idea. Yeah. It's just insane. I mean, the views, look, I mean, around you, you have motorized fleet with sliding glass doors seamlessly opening up to the outdoors and stone floors and a lot to cover here. We're gonna do our best and that's it for the kitchen area. Now, let's go check out this hallway. By the way, look at the length of this hallway. And we have this door opening up to your butler's pantry. You basically have a smaller second kitchen right behind the main one. Same cabinetry, same rose gold finish on the base. We have the pantry on the back side, espresso maker, sink, dishwasher. Again, complements the kitchen. Now, coming back here, we have this door opening up to a powder room on this level. Antonio Lupe vanities with the seamless countertops, wallpaper throughout, LED lit mirror, good size powder room for the common areas. Coming back here and continuing our tour on this hallway, we have this door opening up to the first bedroom suite on this level. King size bed on the left, room is very spacious. You have the sliding glass doors tucking into the walls, opening up this corner here towards the views. And I love these light fixtures that they have on each side built with marble and glass. I mean, it looks stunning. You have oak hardwood floors throughout, stained on site, and going this way, we have this door opening up to the bathroom for this room. Gorgeous floating vanity design with these sleek countertops, hidden drain, LED lit mirror, and you have marble clad walls throughout that are book matched. And everything here just looks so sleek and elegant. You have your rain head, titanium finish fixtures, Incredible. Now, let's get back out and continue our tour. We're gonna check out the backyard in a bit. We have the walk-in closet this way. And coming here, we have this door opening up to the three-car garage that we saw on the exterior. Coming back here, we have the second bedroom on this level that we're gonna check out in a bit. And lastly, we have this door opening up to the office. This room is decked out with so many different details and finishes. You have maple and oak, wood paneling throughout with the stitching in between. You have some glass shelving here, brass inlays, these custom handles with the La Contesina branding. I mean, look at these drawer handles that looks like straps. These look like Louis Vuitton luggages. I mean, it's like, it's incredible. We have this custom desk right in the center. TV on the other side, sliding glass doors open up to a small patio space, and that door right there opens up to your motor car. That way people can come straight to your office without having to go through the house. Same oak hardwood floors are also here. And coming back to the entry on our left-hand side, we have this door opening up to the bathroom for the office, floating vanity design, stone clad walls that goes all the way into your walk-in shower. Even your office gets a phenomenal bathroom. Now, at the end of this hallway, we have a staircase going up to the second floor where we have two bedroom suites. We're gonna start our tour with the one on the right-hand side. This is a front-facing bedroom, king-size bed, built-in closets, nice and spacious. We have the TV on this side and around the corner, it comes with gorgeous bathroom, marble finish throughout, floating vanity, everything you need. Now, right across, we have the second bedroom. It starts right here, and as soon as you walk in, you see the amazing views. 
sliding glass doors opening up the corner and this bedroom is basically your junior primary bedroom suite has its own patio and focusing back in we have the king size bed beautiful light fixtures reveal details on the ceiling and before we check out the patio right here i want to bring everybody this way this door opens up to the bathroom for this room marble clad on the walls you have your closet around the corner let's go have a quick look they have these automatic lights throughout and there you go you have suede finish on the cabinetry open shelving everything you need each one of these closets are extremely spacious and coming back into the bathroom you have your walk-in shower with a window detail above rain head and you have your floating band in the design here a lot of these neutral light tones that really warms up the space now i want to bring everybody back to the bedroom so we can check out the patio we have the sun going down and the outdoor furniture everything about this house is just so custom we have the same composite stones that we saw in the driveway this material is extremely durable and it has that terrazzo look which i really really like and you have your amazing views now i want to bring everybody downstairs to check out the second bedroom that i mentioned earlier it's actually located down below us and it starts right here hallway takes you to the bedroom same oak hardwood floors king size bed gorgeous light fixtures open corner design and before we go outside i want to show everybody the bathroom marble clad walls that's been book matched veins and details just look stunning another gorgeous vanity here with a hidden drain your toilet set up and your walk-in shower is around the corner and it's so spacious rain head above beautiful fixtures and of course around the corner we have a walk-in closet now let's take everybody outside we have the sun going down our timing is perfect that way we can kind of enjoy the lights of the city we have another fire pit area here with the custom furniture and if you focus this side we have this living wall detail that runs halfway through this section complemented with this moat that wraps around the backyard i mean this is incredible and i personally really like this living wall detail now coming here this is the first bedroom suite that we saw on this level gorgeous olive tree with the outdoor lighting and on our right hand side we have the sliding glass doors opening up from the kitchen and the dining area and look at these views this is incredible your mode kind of adds up to the feeling of this backyard and on my right hand side we have the family room again seamlessly opening to the outdoors coming here this is where your backyard starts two olive trees perfectly frames the space you have outdoor lounging areas your spa incredible infinity edge pool and they have the same composite material also throughout this level which gives this backyard a nice natural feel and i want to actually bring the focus to the outdoor furniture here it was manufactured by a yachting company and each one of these lounging chairs weighs like 200 pounds really? which is just mind-boggling and uh coming here of course your formal living room and bar all opens up to the outdoors i mean look at the space walls of glass overhangs the stone class these gas lanterns it's just stunning and you have your infinity edge pool more importantly you have a motorized 23 foot tv that pops right in front of you that way you can watch movies or tv or games right here straight from your pool it is incredible it is not small either it is not small and on top of that it has a windometer on top which means if it gets really windy it automatically lowers itself super cool now coming here we have this outdoor seating area on our right hand side with the fire pit your outdoor bar which looks stunning i mean the stone clad here these ceiling mount swing chairs that are plexiglass with led lighting inside this is one of the coolest bar seating or bar sections we have ever seen on this channel for sure that's really cool absolutely and i love this stone pattern here which they have on the back wall as well open shelving you have your beard tab small fridge ice maker everything you need and around the corner we have a 30 person sunken fire pit area with built-in seating and of course amazing views everything about this property is truly stunning now it gets better I'm going to bring everybody this way. We have some space heaters above us and you actually have an outdoor staircase here that takes you all the way to the rooftop deck 
but a floor above us, we have a door opening up to a detached guest suite with his own kitchenette, and the bedroom itself gets phenomenal views of the city. It has a full bathroom with a marble tub. It's a great addition to the home. Now, that wraps up our tour on the main floor, and we're gonna do what we mentioned earlier, wait for sun to fully go down so we can tour the rest of the home at night. So this house is a very unique showing experience. When you walk into the main level, you're obviously met with incredible volume, amazing scale, some incredible views, and then you go upstairs to the primary suite, and there's really nothing left to be desired. What makes it so amazing is when you walk all the way down that wraparound staircase and you end up in the lower level, that's when people's minds tend to melt because you're not expecting what you see down here. The size and scale of the space, the amenities that exist in this lower level are second to none in terms of being on par with other properties in Los Angeles. And I would be remiss to say that this may be the most impressive room that I've ever seen in a single family residence in all of Los Angeles. So, a few hours have passed, and now we're touring the lower level at night. We wanted to do this because this house with the lighting, walls of glass, scale, it looks so incredible at night that we wanted to do the rest of the tour basically after 7 p.m. And house just looks stunning. We're gonna start our tour here with the spiral staircase. This design here with the railing and the emblem, and right in the center, we have a 44 foot chandelier attached all the way to the ceiling on the second floor. It has 55,000 crystals. They had to reinforce the entire ceiling in order to accommodate this one-of-a-kind chandelier. We have never seen anything like this and it comes down to this level and this is your landing. We're looking at a 6,000 square foot ballroom with multiple seating areas, bar in the center that we're gonna see in a bit. But first, I wanna bring everybody here we have this door opening up to your elevator access on this level. And we have two doors here. Let's have a quick look. We have the first powder room here, your marble vanity with a ceiling mount faucet. And this is where you have your water closet. And we have a replica of this right next door. Mikey, we need a close up. Look at the wall paneling here and the brass inlay design. These are all laser cut and hand polished. Look at these handles with the suede inlay and the logos. I mean, it's just mind boggling. And as soon as you walk in, you have 18 foot high ceilings here, cove lighting details throughout. And we're looking at the first seating area here with a marble table in the center. And again, the furniture setup in this house just looks incredible. You have a custom carpet with the emblem of the house and coming here, we have the secondary seating area. Again, the scale of this room is just mind boggling. And I'm sorry to mention it, but I feel like I'm constantly talking about the furniture here, but it's so custom. I mean, look at the straps behind these chairs, your bar set up here. It's just one of a kind. Now, we have the same oak hardwood floors with the chevron pattern here on this level. And before we go back to the bar area, I wanna bring everybody's attention here. This is a first. This is a six car elevator that goes up to the garage on the main level where we have the single door. That way you can actually change whatever car you want through your phone or your Savant system. Let's say you want this Aston Martin, push of a button, it will actually lower the main elevator, put this Aston Martin on top, push it up to the main level. This is, this is insane. This is insane, it gets better. Let's say you're having a party here, right? You have six cars on this entire assembly. You can program it where you're constantly shifting the cars from one side to another, which would be an amazing backdrop. I mean, this looks like it's out of a Batman movie. I mean, this is crazy. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Something about this just reminds me of Bruce Wayne. Uh, I can see a Batmobile on this thing. Anyway, I'm not gonna get carried away. This assembly was over $3 million. I think it looks incredible. I think this is the best car display, car garage we have ever seen on this channel. My hat's off to the developer. It looks amazing. Yeah, it really does. Also, during the inspection period, the city inspector required them to have some sort of a dedicated fire sprinkler system for this garage assembly here. And that's why they have these fire curtains above us that seals off this section in case something happens here. Mind boggling. 
All right, let's continue our tour. We have an additional seating area here right next to your bar. Mikey, I need you to pan up to the ceiling. Look at this oval light installation here, light fixture installation. This is mind boggling. And again, when I had a chance to talk to the developer, he mentioned that they had to put the template of this circular lighting to the floors, then run laser beams from floor to ceiling and drill each one of these holes and then attach the light fixtures to kind of create this pattern. Months, it took them months to pull this light fixture along here. And then you have the chandelier in the center. Yeah, y'all can't see it, but off camera, I have a very shocked expression on my face. That seems like a lot of work. Mind boggling. All right, now you have the bar right in the center, multiple islands, dual elevation here with the bar seating. We have an additional island right in the center here with these open shelving designs. These are all solid. Really? They each weigh probably like 150 to 200 pounds. Sorry, I have to do this. It's pretty satisfying, right? Yeah. And I mean, you have your sinks, refrigerator, ice maker, open shelving on each side, everything you need. And here's the coolest fact about this bar. You know, although it's right in the center of this ballroom, which serves great, you know, you can kind of address each seating section from here. Let's say you want to have this space all open, right? You want to throw a big event. These bar setups, these islands are portable. With a pallet lift, you can actually lift them up, move them to a side, have your bar around the corner and leave the center of this room open. They designed it that way. You have plumbing from the floors running and it's currently not attached. You can attach it and detach it and you can move the entire bar from here to that corner right there. Really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so I was actually wondering why I had no sinks uh, that makes sense, right? It has sinks. They just haven't been hooked up yet. Exactly. Okay. And even if you hook them up, it will literally take like five minutes to disconnect all your drain lines and water lines and yeah. move everything. That's pretty incredible. Incredible, right? All right, additional seating area, gorgeous furniture. And Mikey, let's go this way. We have this beautiful glass door with this oversized handle opening up to your cigar lounge. As soon as you walk in this room, you hear this venting sound because we have built-in ventilation throughout, since it's a cigar lounge, gorgeous crystal chandelier above, wood paneling with brass inlay details, and Mikey, let's get a close-up here. Look at your built-in humidor. Look at the handles, woodwork. Everything about it is just so gorgeous. And I have another story for you. Look at this couch right here. They put this couch, once they put everything up with the windows and doors, right? It didn't fit through the door. That's why they had to take out an entire glass panel to move this couch in and install the glass panel back on. Wow, this house is crazy. This house is just truly one of a kind. All right, we're back in the ballroom. Additional seating area, chandelier above. We have this entire corner open up seamlessly to the outdoors. But before we go out there, I actually wanna bring everybody here. You just, you just brush over the dinosaur no, right No, there? no, we're gonna come back to that in a bit, <laughs> trust okay. me. But I gotta take you here, another seating area. I gotta show this, look at this. Look at these pillows with the belt and the stitching and just looks incredible. All right, come this way. These double doors open up to your wine cellar. Now this wine cellar holds 1,050 bottles, which is incredible. And Mikey, we need to get a close up. The way they designed this wall is super unique. Essentially, you just lift up your bottle a little bit and it comes out. They have these built-in, I guess, slots with a little angle and it just holds your bottle in place just like that. Looks very sleek. And right in the center, we got this gorgeous marble table. Look at the chairs, look at the custom carpet. And above that, we have this Murano glass chandelier. Now here's an interesting fact. They have modeled this chandelier after a dress that former first lady Jacqueline Onassis once wore. How crazy is that? That's wild. Imagine being a big enough pop culture icon to have a chandelier modeled after a dress that you wore one time. Amazing. Gives, Out of words. Gives you something to aspire to. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, ready Mikey? Yeah. Right next to your wine cellar, you have a vodka tasting room. And uh, I honestly don't know how to talk about this space. I mean, you have an island in the center that's marble and it's pretty cold in here. You have beautiful shelves where you feature your spirits or your vodka. And because it's really cold here, they have these full fur jackets and this full fur hat. I'm gonna see if I can put this on, but 
I have my hair done, and I <laughs> look probably really ridiculous right now, but yeah. if you want to stay here, enjoy some vodka, you got to put these I mean, on you because it's, need it. it's like 25 degrees. Yeah, right it's now. pretty cold here, and that's why let's get out. Yeah. All right, let's continue our tour. That was really interesting. Now, actually, Mikey, let's stop right here. Look at these brass inlays on the glass walls, emblem of the house. Every corner, there are so many details in this house. It's just like, I almost feel like I'm skipping half of it. Yeah, I want to look at the dinosaur. All right, let's go check out the dinosaur. Again, Fleetwood sliding glass doors. They are motorized, tucked into the walls, opening up to your outdoors end. You basically have an outdoor nightclub lounge here, multiple fire pits, multiple seating areas, amazing view. City is glowing right in front of you. And right in front of me, we have this dinosaur skeleton sculpture here. This does look cool and it really goes with the whole Batman theme of this lower level. Yeah, uh, we've toured billions of dollars worth of real estate. We've never seen a dinosaur uh, skeleton in a house before. Not That's like well. this one, yeah. we've seen one. What's your favorite kind of dinosaur? T-Rex? T-Rex, okay. okay. Well, pretty standard answer? Pretty standard answer, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, they have floating floors here where you have the drains tucked underneath. It's the same composite stone finish that we saw throughout the property. And coming here, we have another outdoor fire pit. And Mikey, let's go this way so we can take a look at the gym. And look at this gym. I mean, you have a spin class here, multiple Pelotons, three TVs attached to the ceiling. We have your tonal system here, 18 foot rock climbing wall, because why not? And we have 18 foot ceilings throughout the lower level. I mean, this is just incredible. And right next to your gym, we have this glass door opening up to your jacuzzi. Looks stunning. And around the corner, it gets better. We have this door opening up to your steam room where you have this built-in table in the center with onyx countertops, backlit and heated. You have marble mosaic walls throughout. This is stunning. And you have marble clad walls here. And at the end, we have this door opening up to your actual massage room with the vanity. Now, I also wanna talk about the security aspect of this home. A lot of our viewers always ask about the security of these homes that we tour. This property has 32 8K cameras throughout and they actually have a security quarters where you can kind of monitor all these camera angles. They have two security staff bedrooms hidden in the property that we unfortunately cannot show to you guys. And on top of that, they got an incredible safe room clad with Kevlar. That way you feel extremely safe. But again, unfortunately, we cannot show it to you guys. Now, coming back to the gym, we have this door opening up to a full bathroom dedicated to this area, you got a gorgeous marble sink with two faucets, marble clad back wall, LED lit mirror, and around the corner we have this door opening up to a gorgeous walk-in shower. And right here, we have some lockers, built-in lockers, and some name tags, Arnold, GMA, Bezos, Zuckerberg, Wall, and Gates. I guess when you own a home like this, these people might be your friends. And Mikey, GMA. John Michael Ayers? John Michael Ayers, that's my name. It's my, calling your name. My full name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was going to say, how many years do you think, Mikey, it'll take you to get in a state like this? Um, maybe like six to eight months. Six to eight months? Easy. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. All right, old hardwood floors, Chevron pattern. Mikey, I forgot a detail. We got to come back this way. I'm so sorry. So obviously, this hallway takes you back to the ballroom. We have this opening here taking you to the staff quarters. Multiple bedrooms, bathrooms, you have your laundry room also here. Now, last room on this level, and it's a special one, you have your candy station, wine station, popcorn machine, I'm assuming you're getting the point. You got a screen here showing you what movie is playing because we have this pocket door opening up to your movie theater. You have padded walls plush carpet on the floors, leather electric recliner chairs that sits 15 people, massive screen on this side. And what's great about this room is the fact that since we are below grade, the entire room is cased out of concrete. So you have incredible sound insulation here. You close the door, no one will even hear that you're here. And look at the space, look how gorgeous it is. You just sit down, watch a movie here. And that wraps our tour on the lower level. Let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor.
Now we're on the second floor. If you take the main staircase, it brings you to this wing of the second floor where you have the primary bedroom suite. But if you take the staircase on the back side that we took earlier, it brings you up to the two guest suites. So I wanted to kind of clarify that. Chandelier looks gorgeous. Again, 55,000 crystals, and they had to reinforce the ceiling here because it weighs so much. Now, we have this door opening up to a storage closet. This is your elevator access on this level. Again, doors, details, everything about it is gorgeous. And we have this bridge that overlooks to your formal living room area and your bar. Look at the city in front of you. Everything is sparkling. It's gorgeous. All right. Let's come in this way. We have this door opening up to your primary bedroom suite and this room is massive. You have oak hardwood floors stained on site. You have brass inlaid throughout. Wood paneling gives a lot of warmth to the space. And Mikey, we're gonna start our tour here. Another Arc Linea coffee bar. Gorgeous, it's right next to your bed. I know you love your Nespresso's. I do. That's they, different than the one we have. That they was, should sponsor us. That, that one looks way nicer. They really should sponsor us. We use it all the time. Yeah. All right, you have a seating area here dedicated to your primary bedroom. And Mike, can we get a close up? Even the coffee table is book mashed. It looks stunning. Look at the carpet here with the emblem. Sofa, your gas fireplace, and the book matching on this wall is just mind boggling. This stone, this marble is so beautiful. The veins, it looks like they have skulls on each side and just looks incredible. I'm out of words. I feel like this video was more of a reaction video than a tour. I feel like we're just kind of shocked with everything we see. For sure. You have your king size bed here. Again, the details, straps, patterns. And I love that the walls have these wood panels in your brass inlays and this gorgeous pattern that really warms up the space. Your king size bed, two light fixtures on each side, mirror back wall with more brass inlays and right on top you have your projector because we have a drop down screen right in front of your king size bed. And this is where you just lay down, relax, enjoy your night, look at the breathtaking views of the city. Gorgeous bedroom. And now we're gonna continue our tour with the primary bathroom. This bathroom is extremely spacious. We have same oak hardwood floors also here, 24 slabs of color cut gold marble book mashed throughout. And you have your 18 foot solid marble vanity here that looks stunning. I love the ceiling mount towel racks that are pretty bulky and uh, your massive mirror with LED lighting. And right on this side, we got this gorgeous marble freestanding tub that they had to crane in and slide in to this position. Look at your tub filler. You have sliding glass doors opening up to your outdoors. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Now, right in the center, we have a 100 square foot walk-in shower. Without a doubt, this is the biggest walk-in shower we have ever seen on this channel. Two rain heads above. You have chrome fixtures, handheld, I guess you can have 15, 20 people here if you want to. Yeah, I love the uh, floor drains. Exactly, hidden underneath, so it's perfectly level. You have two water closets. Let's show the one on this side real quick. And of course you have your, let's see, the lighting turns on, there you go. Fancy eggshell Toto toilet with all the features. Mm -hmm. And let's go check out the first closet. It starts right here and island in the center with built-in seating. We have wardrobe set up throughout, open shelving, and this closet looks incredible. The veneers, the finish, handles, textures, LED lighting, everything about it is just like incredible. You know, normally I would say this is like a really nice boutique store, but I think it's way better than that. It feels like a, like a first class experience almost, like it's, an Emirates flight. I, you know, I'm out of words. <laughs> look at the finishes here. It's, it's, really, it's really nice. This is better than a boutique store, you're right. I mean, look at this drawer set up here. Look at the handle, look at the way it closes. It's like beyond uh, soft closed. I know. Uh, look at these oversized handles with the branding. Inside you have your racks. I mean, it's just stunning, open shelving. Two skylights above, it's nighttime, so we don't really see the natural light coming in, but you have them. And we have another beautiful closet right around the corner. Let's go have a quick look. Oh, I also forgot. Got a gorgeous chandelier above. And coming here, water closet number two on this side. And we have this door 
opening up to your second closet. This one has more of the lighter tones, but you have the same textures and handles throughout. Again, two more skylights here. I'm not gonna do much talking anymore. Not this much is to say. It. This not is much nice. to say. This is super, super nice. Yeah. All right, let's go back into the bedroom. Sorry, bathroom, because I wanna take everybody outside. So primary bedroom suite gets a wraparound balcony. It starts right here. We have it nicely hedged on this side. You have your own private jacuzzi, because why not? It's really nice. You have the stone cladding on this side. And coming here, your wraparound balcony extends out. Look at the outdoor furnishings here. This probably weighs like 150 pounds. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Solid brass, open corner, and you have your own outdoor seating area on the second floor with a fire pit right in the center, complemented with a fireplace, your outdoor TV, and can we talk about the views? City looks incredible. It looks like a movie out here. And you can literally see helicopters flying. We're quite high up. You have your incredible backyard down below. Just a stunning property and it gets better because right above us, we have an amazing rooftop deck. This is your rooftop deck. And the first thing I wanna talk about are the views. You have the entire city in front of you all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Obviously we cannot see it right now, but views are stunning. You have downtown Los Angeles right ahead. And we take this for granted. We live in this city, but uh, LA is pretty special. Yeah, we've been on the road for a while, uh, all over the place. It's good to be back in a house with a view like this. Absolutely. And this rooftop deck, you get amazing outdoor square footage. Right in the center, you have the fire pit with the built-in seating. We have the outdoor TV on this side with a linear gas fireplace. I love these gas lanterns that we've been seeing throughout. And right on the other side, we have the outdoor kitchen with the kegerator, ice maker, fridge, sink, everything you need. And on the back side of the rooftop deck, we have the LED lit steps taking you to your jacuzzi. I mean, what a great spot on a cold night like this where you just get in, enjoy, look at these views. This is phenomenal. And this home, without a doubt, is one of my favorite homes in the city. I take a tremendous sense of pride and ownership when being given the opportunity to work on a project like this. Uh, something like this has gone on for the better part of eight years to get from commencement to finish, and that's something I certainly don't take lightly. Um, those of us who have been doing this work long enough know that we look for certain opportunities to really kind of make as a trademark, you know, to hang our hat on. And for me, this property is potentially that opportunity. In the years that I've been doing this, I've seen numerous properties, but I've never seen something quite like this, and I'm not certain that I ever will again. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Without a doubt, one of my favorite homes in this city, the fit and finish, customization, furniture, stone class throughout. This house is so impressive. I wanna congratulate the developer for doing an amazing job. And I also wanna thank the listing agents, Adam and John, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. As always, you can find more information about this estate in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.